okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous video we have successfully added the authentication we are able to log in and sign up uh, with our api and we are also assigning the uh, token to the user now in this video i will implement the jwt strategy that will validate the user and we will protect our routes from the unauthenticated users and also we will save the user in the uh, book uh, uh, basically uh, document okay now first of all let's create our strategy so in this strategy uh, we will extend our passport strategy okay and then we have access to the validate function here we have to override uh, this function and in this function or method we can simply check that if the user has a valid token then this means that user is authenticated then we will allow the user to access the protected routes and if the token is expired or there is not the correct user in the token or token is invalid then we will simply uh, throw the error that you are not uh, authorized to access this page like this okay so you have to create this JWT strategy so for that I have to create a class that will extend the password strategy and then in the super we will pass our uh, from where we will get the JWT we, are, we have to pass our secret and then we have to override this validate and give our own definition okay so let's use that i go back to my vs code here in the source in the auth i create a new file that is called jwt dot strategy dot ts we know that we are using jwt strategy so that's we have to use that and now in here first of all i have to create a class so that is decorated with the injectable okay then i will simply export also this class because you have to also add that in our auth module so dwt uh, strategy that will extend okay uh, the passport strategy that we will import from the nest.js slash passport and in that we have to pass the strategy and we have to import the strategy from the passport dwt so strategy from passport jwt actually we don't uh, have to if i go to package or json um here i have jwt where it is we have to install this package as well that is passport jwt so i copy it from here i haven't installed that so i will install this package first of all and now i can use here this strategy from passport jwt and then here we have to first of all type in here the constructor and in the constructor I will inject my model so inject uh, inject model that is going to be user dot name we have to import the user as well dot name and then private user model and pass in here the user okay and then here super now if you don't know uh, whenever we call this super in our constructor it actually calls or invokes the parent class constructor so in this case the parent class is this password strategy okay so now this uh, super function will invoke uh, the password strategy constructor and pass in here these values now we have to pass it first of all jwt from request because we have to get jwt from the request and we have to actually get that from the uh, uh, bearer token from the header okay we know that in authentication we pass authorization to uh, header and in that authorization header we pass bearer then token okay so jwt from request and i use here extract uh, jwt and i have to import that from password jwt like this now it has a function called dot from auth header as bearer token okay so now it will extract the bearer token from the header and pass in the super and then we have to pass here the secret or key so that is going to be process dot env dot jwt underscore secret that we have defined in our env file in our previous video okay so now we have to find our constructor 
now let's override our validate function so type here async validate and in validate we will get access to the payload okay now in the payload we know that we have saved the id of the user so we will get the id from the payload so id is going to be payload if i can show you here in the uh, service you can see that we have saved uh, the id in the payload so we can get the id from the payload and now we have to check that if the user is correct or not so i simply type here const user is going to be await this dot user model dot find by id with this id if that user exists then we will simply return the user and if the user does not exist then we will simply throw here if not user throw new unauthorized exception and pass in here login first to access this um, endpoint like this so now if the user is not present in the database with this id this means that user is invalid and token is not valid so we will simply uh, throw here this error simply save this one and now this is our uh, jwt strategy that we have to use and now it is completed now let's add that in the auth module i open this one and then here in the providers i will simply use here jwt strategy okay i also have to type one more of a uh, value here that is exports that is also an array in that i have to pass all uh, basically modules that i want to use in other module now in my book module i want to protect my routes so that's why i have to export from here the jwt strategy and also the passport module so jwt strategy i will export that and also the passport module and now in this way we will be able to uh, use uh, this um, strategy in our book module okay simply save this one and now let's use that i simply close this one and this one and go to the source book and now in the book module uh, we have to import here the auth module because we want to use that so i type here auth module and that is dot dot i think so yes and now we can use our auth module in this uh, book module as well i close this one and now i go to my controller uh, sorry book controller here now i can protect my routes and protecting route is quite simple for example i want to protect this create book route so what i do is i simply type here at use guards use oops use guards and i have to import the use guards from the nestjs slash common now in the use guards i want to use the auth guard so i type here auth guard that i have to import from the nestjs slash passport and now it will protect our route and that is it actually if i simply save it and now let's test it out let's run our server first and zero errors now if i go back and here in the books if i type here name i type here book five like this and now if i click on send from here you can see that we get here uh, unauthorized error because now we have to pass the token in the header in order to create a book okay so what i do is i simply go here sign in get back my token copy it from here go back i go in the headers create a new header here that is oops that is authorization in that i type here bearer space the token okay and now if i click on send you will see that title must be a string and oh that is actually title and that is adventure now if i click on send you can see that now the book is created successfully because we have passed our token in the header with the better space token okay so this means that our route is protected and now only authenticated users can access this route and now one more thing i also want to save the user in the book that has created it so what i do is i simply go back um, i go in the uh, book schema i have to add here the user field 
I copy this from here and that is going to be the user and type is going to be the user okay and that is like this and in the probe I will simply type here that type is going to be mongoose dot schema dot types dot object ID that this is going to be mongoose object ID and then I also type here what is the reference so reference is going to be the user okay so now we have added the uh, user here in the schema we have here error that create book DTO is now assignable to parameter of type book property user is missing uh, in create book DTO and what I do is I simply go to my create book DTO I will simply add here read only a user that is going to be the user and now we know that user cannot pass uh, the user in the body because it will be fetched automatically from the request object so what I do is to prevent that I simply use here that is empty decorator that this field should be empty user cannot pass it I will simply add here a message you cannot pass user ID okay so it will make sure that user does not pass any ID in the body now it will remove this error so I copy it from here go to update book DTO paste it here import the user and also is empty save this one save this one and now the error will go okay and now we have also saved the uh, added the user field in our book schema now, now we have to save the user and how I can and get access to the user that is logged in I can simply get access with the request object so I will simply type here after this uh, the request decorator I will import that from the next.js slash command that is going to be request and now if I log here request dot user simply save this one if I go back in the body I type here 6 send and you can see that we have here our user with all the data okay so what I do is actually I pass the user here in the second parameter that is request dot user okay then I simply save it and go to my book service here I will get my user so user that is going to be the user okay and okay now I have to save the user in the book as well so what I do is simply type here const data I use here object dot assign to assign the ID so in the assign first of all I have to type the target so target is going to be book and the value that I want to add is the user and I have add the user dot underscore ID in here okay then I will pass this data in here and property ID does not exist on user now this is a TypeScript issue and to avoid that I go to my auth schema user schema and I will I don't have here the ID field and I don't want to add that so what I do is I will simply type here extends the document and I will import the document from mongoose okay so now it will add the ID so now the error will go simply save this one and now let's test it out if I go back create book 7 and now it will have the user sent and you can see that the user is actually saved in the book okay so in this way we can do that I hope that you understand what we have discussed in this video we have created our strategy uh, to protect our routes we have protected our route we have saved the user in the book uh, document okay so if you have any question you can definitely ask in the comment section I will definitely reply there and if you want to check out my Udemy course on Nest.js I will also add the link in the description of this video and the source code of this video will also be available in the description okay so I hope that you understand if you have any question make sure to post in the comment section I will see you in the next video